Hi, my name is Lara and my DJ name is Fuzel. My name is Esther and my DJ name is Bulentina and we run Night Forms, a genre bending dance party at the Rocksteady in Oakland every third Saturday. It's rare that I hear Middle Eastern music at a club night or even just non-American music unless it's sort of like a themed event. So that was something we were trying to get away from was like making the DJ sets all one genre or making um, the event feel themed. We find a lot of inspiration from what we call the digital diaspora. So a lot of people from our backgrounds who are online and on Tumblr or like Twitter um, and the internet. And now like SoundCloud, like we're just starting oh, yeah. to find more and more people who are using the internet as a way to like tell their story or like find alternative histories or just connect with people if they don't have that community immediately. We were sort of thinking about how you can have those conversations um, through video and sound that aren't as easy to have like on a face-to-face -face level, especially mm -hmm. with um, Turkish and Armenian communities. And so Lara being someone who's really immersed in an Armenian community and I'm someone who I'm half Turkish and my mom is Jewish American, thinking about how we navigate technology in different ways to kind of like access our culture and history, but also like the overlaps in between those things. A lot of the talk shows in Turkey are more like singing shows than they are talk shows. So, um, and the sets are really, really ornate and amazing. So I really like using those as like a backdrop for our party. Going from this like folk, like Persian song to like, just like Armenian pop song to like hyphy to R&B, it kind of, it to like techno yeah. or like <laughs> trance, <laughs> like footwork. That's so real. Like, there's yeah. some songs I have DJed at night forms that I've only ever heard like with my family or at a wedding or like on, in private by myself. Having those moments, I think, is really amazing. And just like opening up that space to people has been exciting to see what other people do with it too. And I recently found a bunch of my mom's records. Um, I didn't even know that she was like that big of a music person until recently like all her records she had from Iran that she brought here like 40 years ago and she hadn't even listened to them since then and I got to borrow Esther's turntables and like kind of have my mom be in the process of like hearing this music again and that gave her kind of the chance to like just jump in my room randomly and be like sharing all these stories that I wouldn't have heard if it wasn't for that.